glory of my life come out of every cover in the name of Jesus open your mouth and pray it Somebody is broken through. In Jesus' name we pray. There is a woman here. If you pray this prayer well, even before this service closes, your breakthrough will have manifested. Powers! Waiting to tell me what a pity ah, can you shout this loud in the name of Jesus but in the This is not a money to negotiate. We are here for serious business. Yes. Oh, yes. Papota, Rima Kapola Kaya Boshante Rabakampa, Narima Kosotonda. In Jesus' name we pray. Powers! Setting traps for me. Fall into your trap by fire. Can I hear you shouting it? In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree it. Them we pray. I want you to get angry in your spirit at this as we pray this next prayer. When you want to borrow money from a bank, they ask you to put down a collateral. Some put down their houses, some put down their properties as collateral. This is why I want you to pray this prayer with anger. Powers! Using my destiny as a collateral. What are you waiting for? Die! In the name of Jesus. Patasalika! This is not a money to negotiate. Makita setende keyama. In Jesus, then we pray. Powers! Saying that I will sing the song of frustration. Can you say that all and clear? Can you shout it loud and clear? Shut up and die in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In 
Jesus name we pray this particular prayer please don't reduce your volume keep it on top keep it on top let your mouth pray let your hand pray let your body pray Pause! Smiling at me at that time and troubling me in the night. Can you shout it loud? Your time is up. name we pray Aha, wonderful wonderful yes things are happening pass assigned to use my dreams to waste my life can I hear the sister shouting it Don't negotiate to such powers. They show people dreams of death, dreams of tragedy, dreams of sorrow. Can you shout it loud? Pow! Death! In the name of Jesus. Name we pray. The next three prayers are going to have instant manifestation in the kingdom of darkness. Wherever my picture has been taken to for evil.
You cannot negotiate. We are not here for negotiation. Jesus name we pray powers insulting my glory receive angelic slap in the name of Jesus powers insulting my glory receive angelic slap Jesus name we pray powers selling my life to yearly battles power selling my life to yearly battles you are a liar in the name of Jesus you can't negotiate these prayers Jesus name we pray before you sit down we need to pray this one three times the louder your voice the quicker your results every good thing I want to do in the new year manifest by fire in the name of Jesus open your mouth and pray it somebody is receiving help Jesus name we pray if you are that person here your ancestors they worship snakes find a way to the altar and be on your knees the serpents have been angry against you for a long time it is time to kill the serpents find a way to the altar yes thank you Jesus every good thing I want to do in the new year manifest by fire in the name of Jesus Somebody is receiving help. Somebody is breaking through. Yes, thou power of the serpent. Release her. 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 Thou power of the serpent. Release her. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. This is the final one. Every good thing I want to do in the new year. Manifest by fire. In the name of Jesus. In 
Jesus' name we pray. Raise your two hands to the heavenly now. This is not a gentleman's prayer. Remember when Jesus appeared by the tomb of Lazarus. He spoke to his father quietly. Gently. He said, Father, I thank you. Because you always hear me. But by the time he turned to the grave, the Bible says he cried with a loud voice. Let us comfort. So this is not a prayer to say gently. Say designers of grave clothes carry your load and die. Can I hear you shouting it? Can you raise that voice a little bit higher? Can you shout it louder? In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. A louder amen. A louder amen. Father, we thank you for this morning. Thank you for what you have done among the people. Continue to lay your hands upon us. And as this year is rolling to an end, let our testimonies begin to get bigger and bigger. In the name of Jesus. And any sorrow and tragedy attached to this year is minus you and your family in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus, then we pray. Let's have a say, God bless you. Don't forget, next Sunday is one service. Uh, it's our annual community hymn singing. We're coming here to sing to praise the Lord for His mercies, His grace upon us next Sunday. Also, next Sunday, I say 30 minutes meeting immediately after the first service uh, immediately after that service sorry, only one service for all sisters when you are coming bring either an extra beret an extra head gear extra scarf something you can tie on your head we're going to pray on them then you're going to put it on your head after the prayers the one you wore here you can put that in your bag but that new one is what you're going to take home it's a, prof it's a prophetic meeting we see the enemy preparing a cauldron of insanity for women he has, already, he has already started to share it out. But we don't want to be a part of it here. And therefore, I decree upon all the sisters here that any power assigned to attack your brain shall die suddenly in the name of Jesus. So, don't forget just 30 minutes prayer meeting after the service next Sunday 
come with an extra thing you can tie on your head. Whether it's a beret, it's a cap, it's a hat, it's a gear, anything. You can put on your head. And that's the one you are going to wear to take home. I hope this is clear. I will, I will say it again on Wednesday. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Last week, we began to look at the 12 battles you must not fight. And we stop at battle number six that you must not fight. We are going to continue along those lines. Also, do not forget the annual seven days prayer into the new year. It's starting this week. At the grace of God. Starting on Friday. This is a booklet. Get one quickly. It includes prayer for seven days into the new year. It includes the first power messengers of the year. The prayers for power messengers for the year. First one in the year. Then it includes the quenching the rich prayer points. That we are going to pray from 7th of January to 7th of February. Please, even if you have members of your family who don't come to Martin Affair, I, I recommend buy a copy, encourage them to participate. I'm praying that as stubborn enemies and vampire enemies are warming up. God shall provoke them to destroy themselves in the name of Jesus. The 12 battles you must not fight. I read two scriptures very quickly. First Corinthians chapter 9 verse 26. First Corinthians chapter 9, verse 26. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, meaning it's possible to be alive to come to this life and you are running about like an aimless goat aimlessly so fight her not as one that beated the air it shows that there are some useless fights. Say, I'm running. Not with uncertainty. I'm fighting. Not that somebody is just beating the air. If the Bible is saying this, it means that there are many people who they're just beating the air. They think they are fighting, but they're just beating the air. Beating the air. May you not be fighting as somebody beating the air. In First Timothy chapter six. Verse twelve. First Timothy. Six twelve. Fight Maja the good fight of faith. Fight Maja the good fight of faith. Why did they put the word good? There? It means there are bad fight of faith. It's a bad fight of faith. But he said, fight the good ones. Don't fight the bad ones. 
You see, beloved, the truth is this. Most fighting is not good. Some fightings are good. But most fighting is not good. Because most fighting is just a proud attempt. That people just want to prove their strength at another person's expense. Only very few good fight. And like I told you last week, our God is a man of war. But our wars will not fight with us. And that last week I began to look at the battles you should not fight. Number one, say, do not fight against the Holy Spirit. You cannot win. Let him beat you. Let him fight you. Let him pull you, put you on the floor. Don't resist the Holy Spirit. If you are here and there are certain things you are doing in the secret how you think nobody sees you you are telling the Holy Spirit that he's a liar he sees you don't fight the Holy Spirit two don't fight against the word of God the word of God will not adjust to your life you have to adjust to it three don't bite the fingers that fed you if anybody has ever been good to you in this life don't bite that finger it's a terrible fight when you are biting the fingers that fed you it's a horrible fight when even you as a pastor you are fighting your father in the Lord you are fighting the father that got you converted you, you can't win that kind of fight you can't win that kind of fight at all I remember was that boxer Muhammad Ali he was to fight somebody who has been his partner in boxing before right he learned boxing from him now he's fighting him now so they, they, they ask him so you are going to fight this person this person has been fighting so he knows you very well he answered he said I taught him what he knows but I did not teach him all I know you can't fight a father it's not possible four don't join hands in speaking against any man of God don't judge any man of God their judgment rod is not in your hand if they are doing something bad really really bad and you don't want to be under them anymore Just move away but don't start judging men of God this is a counsel to every member of Martin of Fire Miracles Ministry you can never hear me on the pulpit running down any man of God there's so many things to teach in the word of God you have no time to be running down people and those of you when you say negative information about any man of God you are broadcasting it whether it is true or not you don't know you are broadcasting it you are sharing it let me tell you you are guilty of judging people and their judgment rod is not your hand the forward anything negative to you about any man of God delete it 
Don't, don't be a courier agent to transfer. So it's God who called him is responsible, not you. I want you to understand this very, very well. Five. Don't go into spiritual warfare with unclean heart. To come to God, you must have a clean heart. Six. Don't have zeal without wisdom and knowledge. You are fighting with zeal without wisdom without knowledge. If you fight like that, you lose. The Israelites fought the apostles because they thought they were doing God a favor. They had zeal. No wisdom. A man landed in an Islamic city. He was he, was, he got converted from Islam to Christianity. So he started preaching the gospel. He went to this deep Islamic place. To the town hall. And he began to preach. To try to convert them. But his method of preaching was this. He had the Bible in one hand. He had the Quran in another hand. So he started trying to disprove the Quran. The more he preached, the angrier they got. They were getting really angry. But to be quite honest, by the time he finished the sermon, police had to rescue him. From the place. They will have slaughtered him. Zeal. Without knowledge. Zeal. Without knowledge. Zeal. Without knowledge. The same town. Another minister went. Another minister went there. As they gathered again thinking it was like the former one that came. You know, it's a very hard thing when you go to preach in the place, you say, shout hallelujah, nobody's answering back. You say, amen, nobody's saying amen. So this man of God went there, a converted mechanic this man of God is a converted mechanic maximum education primary 6 went there the gathered again boiling but the former one who was pleased to rescue him who will rescue this one today so he started to preach I want to preach the sermon he preached now. Exactly what he said. He said, God, God created man and put him in a beautiful garden and he warned him. You can eat this one. You can eat this one. But this particular tree, don't go there. So, but man went there disobeyed God ate what he should not eat and from that day sickness problem trouble came upon man and man began to suffer all the animals were running away from now you say serpent you run you see a crocodile you run there were animals that men name man named them they were playing together in that garden there were no mosquitoes to cause malaria because 
there was peace. But immediately the man disobeyed. Problem started. But God being a merciful God. Now look that man and say, Oh, they're suffering. Okay. Let me make let me make a plan to rescue them. He now sent his son to go and meet them. To reconcile them. To bring them back. So that son of God is like a giant. Asked to go and minister to an aunt. So you now this son of God now went to the aunt. Human beings aunt. And began to shrink. 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 And shrank to their size. So he can minister to them. Said that son of God. Is the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, no. The Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ you know, uh, they listen attentively. So now listen, that you may know that that Son of God is the Savior. I'm going to pray in His name now. And things will begin to happen. And he lifted up his voice to pray. Hey. Oh, they didn't close their eyes. They just looking at him. He lifted up his voice and began to pray. Beloved, when the Bible says, at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. It is very strong. He began to pray. Say, Father, I've ministered to your people. I've just finished preaching everything they preach. That's, I've just preached the sermon, exactly. I didn't have, I didn't subtract. <laughs> That's the sermon. Finish. In the crusade. Father, in the name of Jesus, demonstrate your power in There was an allergy that came for the crusade with two sons both sons were deaf and dumb the whole town knows they were dumb and deaf as this man prayed all of a sudden the first son pinched the father and said the man looked you are talking. The second one pulled him again. Yeah. Yeah. You are talking. Say, who? The boy said, who? Hey. Hey. For the first time, he looked up into the pulpit. Straight at the pulpit. He wasn't listening to what the man was saying before. Look at the pulpit. He removed his turban. Ran quickly to the altar. The whole place went into disarray. Holy commotion. And when he took the altar call, he had a harvest of souls. The other person went zeal without knowledge. He didn't convert anybody. He didn't save any soul. Was fighting the wrong battle. Seven. When you fight the wrong enemy. It is fighting the wrong battle. There is no way God will fight for you. When you are engaging in misfired aggression. Or you are waging war against the innocent. Fighting those who are innocent. There is something known as a curse of the innocent. Any innocent person that is unjustly punished can issue a potent curse against the oppressor. So you need to know your enemy before you begin a fight. 
If someone loves you from their heart and you are waging war against such persons, then you are inviting disgrace. So fighting the wrong enemy is fighting the wrong battle. Eight. When you want to take over, when you should take over, it's a wrong battle. Moses in Egypt fought with his own strength and he got into trouble. But when he fought in God's strength, he won. Moses was trying to take over when he should really take cover. There's a time to fight, there's a time to run. When you try to take over, when you should take cover, you get to, you, you get into trouble. The Bible says, when thou art strong, then thou shall have dominion. Now, you are fighting the wrong battle when you are praying against divine discipline and chastening Jonah in that boat if he started praying against his storm the prayer will not be answered it was God that started the storm you can't fight against God so you are God is disciplining you, you are praying against it. a lie. What you should do is to repent. Ten. When you are fighting against divine decision, God has made a decision. To fight against that decision is to die for nothing. Many are dying like that every day. A divine decision was taken. You decide to fight. When the kingdom of Israel was split into two, the children of Israel tried to go and fight. God told them, don't fight this fight. It's from me to your tents, O Israel. 11. When you go into battle without the presence of God, Moses said, if your presence, Exodus 33, if your presence is not with me, I'm not going away, I'm not going forward. Ensure divine presence before you fight. And lastly, do not fight when there is abomination in your possession. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 25 Wrist watch from your former boyfriend clothes from your former sinner friend decorations that have satanic signal you cannot fight a good battle when you have those things in your possession in the chapter 7 verse 26 neither shall thou bring an abomination into that house lest thou be a cursed thing like it but thou shalt utterly detest it and thou shalt utterly abhor it for it is a cursed thing don't bring it to your house I remember a man of God who discovered that he, was, he had money before <laughs> all of a sudden he started getting broke he started praying father I've never been so financially poor what's the problem the Lord said son do you notice that your poverty started when your grandfather died 
Say yes. So that's because you inherited something from him. Say, what is it, Lord? You inherited a picture. That picture in your sitting room from your grandfather. Say, really? Say now, say now, son, go and look at that picture closely. Look at it closely. So for the first time, you looked at the picture really well. It was, was, was a good hard work. When you now looked at it very well, you found that it was a dragon. Say, so, son, what is this? It's a dragon. So what does dragon represent? Say, the devil. So that's what you are using to decorate your room. That's, that's why poverty is now fighting. So you have to take down the picture, destroy the picture, and things started. Things started to move for him. If you began to pray against poverty, you could pray that prayer for years. Nothing will happen until that picture is destroyed. These are the 12 battles you must not fight. Rise to your feet now. And all eyes closed. If you are here this morning, you are not born again. You have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. Do so very quickly now. By saying what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Say that short prayer with me. Let's wait and see us after the service. The ushers and counselors will meet with you where you are. Also, you can take our numbers from the screen. As you pray these prayers, I want you to believe God for His mighty touch upon your life. Like I told you, this is December. A month that should be soaked in prayer. Can you shout this loud and clear? Even if you don't understand the words, pray the prayer anyway. Powers assigned to exchange my money in witchcraft market. Can I hear the sister shouting it? Brothers, can I hear you running like thunder? Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout this loud. Say, wicked elders. Standing against my prayers. In the name of Jesus. Jesus' name we pray.
please bring out your tithes and your offering for this meeting. Father, we thank you for the tithes and the offering. Good measure, praise and falling over. Let it be the lot of your children. In Jesus' name. Amen. The boxes are close to you. Your feet, please, and stretch your two hands towards this altar. Father, we thank you for your children that you have brought for this service. I pray that the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit will abide upon your life in the name of Jesus. And your life will be a testimony to the glory of Jehovah in the name of Jesus. The anointing to go from strength to strength and from glory to glory. Receive that anointing in the name of Jesus. I cover you and everything that is yours with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord blesses you from Zion. Make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. You shall go from strength to strength and from glory to glory. This year, any of your blessing that is left in it, you shall possess it in the name of Jesus. All the prayer requests, our Lord, answer them by fire. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let us share the grace in fellowship. Love of God.